Defense Updates has reached more than 150,000 subscribers. We're genuinely thankful to our viewers. You keep us going. Follow us on social media. Support us on Patreon. All links in description below. After a Chinese nuclear attack submarine was discovered by the Japanese Navy while submerged near disputed islands in the East China Sea, military experts say that Chinese sub could be too easy to detect. The PLA Navy's 110-meter Shang-class submarine surfaced in international waters with a Chinese flag on its mast on January 12th after it was followed by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Forces for two days. Some military experts believe the vessel was forced to surface, but others say there's not enough information to back up that theory. China's defense ministry has not responded to inquiries. The silence indicates that indeed the vessel was detected. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how noisy Chinese submarine was easily exposed by Japan. Number 5 Relations between China and Japan have long been tense because of historical issues and their territorial disputes over the tiny, uninhabited archipelago which lies between Taiwan and the southern Japanese island of Okinawa that is controlled by Japan but also claimed by China. It was the first time a Chinese Navy submarine had come so close to the islands, leading to speculation that it was an apparent move by China to demonstrate its sovereignty claim. Number four. The submarine entered the adjacent zone less than 24 nautical miles from the contested Daiyu Islands, which are known as the Senkakus in Japan. But the early and long exposure of its underwater trajectory, according to military experts, suggests the vessel is not as quiet as it should be. Japan's defense ministry said anti-submarine ships and planes have been tracking the Chinese submarine since January 12th. China's nuclear attack submarine has been in service since 2006 carrying out missions in the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific. Two of the submarines, Type 093, were built in the 2000s, and at least two more, the upgraded Type 093A, were commissioned in 2016, according to a report to the US Congress in 2017. Japan did not say whether the submarine spotted near its waters was one of the earlier vessels or the upgrade, but experts say it's the newer type. That submarine is believed to have a vertical launch system for anti-ship YJ-18 cruise missiles and was expected to be on par with the United States Los Angeles class submarines or at least much quieter than its notoriously noisy predecessor the type 091 Han class number three this is such a shame for the Navy said a Beijing based military source who requested anonymity adding that the vessel was detected because it was too noisy. The incident has also shown the strong anti-submarine capabilities of Japan, which has the technological backing of the US military, according to military commentator Zhao Chenming in Beijing. It's not so bad that they've been exposed, it could push the Chinese to work harder on making the submarines quieter, Zhao said. As a strong military power, China should be confident enough not to cover up its weaknesses and failures. It's also unusual that a nuclear submarine, which could stay underwater for months, surfaced in front of another navy, given that they usually strive to stay unseen and undetected. Once a submarine has been exposed and its unique acoustics have been recorded, it puts them at a great disadvantage, said Li Zhai, a researcher at the Naval Military Studies Research Institute in Beijing. In 2004, a Type 091 Han-class nuclear submarine was detected as it trespassed in Japanese territorial waters near the recent incident, but it remained submerged until it returned to Chinese waters, despite being chased by Japanese ships and planes dropping tsunamis, which pick up underwater sounds and transmit them. Macau-based military expert Antony Wang Dong believed the nuclear attack submarine was forced to surface and said that it was dumb of the Chinese Navy to allow its features to be seen and photographed. He also dismissed claims that the submarine was flying a Chinese flag to assert its claim to sovereignty over the Dayus, noting that it surfaced in international waters. If they wanted to claim sovereignty, why didn't the submarine enter the territorial seas of the islands, Wang said. Flying a flag is the general practice when a submarine surfaces in international or foreign waters. 
Some experts point of that the submarine was forced to surface because Japan's self-defense force could have sunk it with a depth charge as an unidentified sub and the PLA wouldn't be able to object to it. Number 2 There's an extensive undersea network of US-Japan sound surveillance system SOSIS, called Fishhook that constantly monitors all submarine patrols undertaken by the PLA Navy. It stretches from Yonaguni to the Senkaku Islands, Yonagui and Suao in northeast Taiwan, between Kosyong in southwestern Taiwan and the Dongsha Islands and across from Bashi Channel between Hangchan at Taiwan's southernmost tip and Luzon Islands in the Philippines. Another runs from Sasebo near Kagoshima in the southwestern part of Kyushu down the Osumi Archipelago to Okinawa, then to Miyakojima and Yonaguni in the southern part of the Ryukyu Islands, past Taiwan to the Balaban Islands in the Philippines, to Lomkok in the Indonesian Archipelago, across the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra, and from Sumatra to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Indian Ocean. Real-time information sharing between the Quad, that is, the United States, Japan, Australia and India, links the undersea defense lines, effectively drawing a tight arc around Southeast Asia and from the Andaman Sea to Japan. In addition, large numbers of hydrophones had been installed in, quote, Chinese waters, unquote, close to China's submarine bases in Jingdao, Zhaipingdao and Yulin on Hainan Island the fishhook could have been instrumental in exposing the Chinese submarine. Number 1 The Chinese Navy plans to expand the fleet of nuclear attack submarines to six, according to the US Congress report, before it brings in the next generation Type 095, which it hopes will be substantially quieter when it's introduced in the 2020s. It was known before that Chinese sub were inferior to Western or Japanese counterparts. It should be a wake-up call for Chinese Navy. In fact, it can be a blessing in disguise. To be detected easily like this during peace should go a long way in implementation of measures to prevent detection during a conflict. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.